Hi, I'm Michael Ritchie. I'm the Artistic Director of the Santa Theatre Group in Los Angeles. My name is Charles Dillingham. Uh, I'm the Managing Director. And we're all here to tell you that it does get better. Many of us grow up without role models, without any type of example of how to live successfully and happily. I grew up in a small town in Kentucky, pretty religious area, so definitely felt like I was the only gay person in, in the village. I was part of a gay straight alliance in high school, but we were all, it was kind of funny because it was called Friends of Lesbians and Gays, FLAG, but we were all friends. <laughs> None of us were gay, um, or so we said. I didn't know any gay people where I grew up. I only was exposed to gay people on TV and in film. I thought that meant wearing boas and body glitter and calling each other girlfriend, and I knew that wasn't me. So I didn't think I was gay. In college, I met this woman, and I just was so blown away. And at the time, I wasn't ready for that. Everybody has times when they feel alone. Um, they feel like people don't understand them. I just was always that guy on the outside of the ring of friends. I knew that being gay was bad and I knew the gay people were the ones who we picked on. I don't think I knew I was different. I think that everybody reminded me I was different. School is tough. Uh, you have no choice um, as to generally where you go to school and, and who the other students are. I had rocks thrown at me. I had water balloons thrown at me and sort of just became this target for whatever bully wanted to get something off his chest. I remember waking up at about five o'clock, just lying there in bed staring at the ceiling, hoping I wouldn't have to get up and go to school. You know, living in terror when you left your home. Instead of saying, good morning, Marcos, sometimes people would say, hey, Markov. <laughs> I thought about the different ways that I might commit suicide. Um, I have a low threshold for pain, <laughs> so a lot of the thoughts that I had dealt with something that was somewhat pain-free. I definitely remember sitting in my room and thinking, if I were to do anything right now, would anyone care? So it took me a while where I could just say, I'm a lesbian, I'm gay, that's who I am, and it's, it doesn't define me, but it's part of my life. I think going through that experience of, of kind of feeling like I didn't belong made me feel like I belong more now. The longest play I've ever done as a theater actor has been performing the role of a straight man. And I got pretty good at it, you know. I dated girls and played football. Are you kidding me? <laughs> as you get older, you develop an inner feeling of confidence and, and your feelings of self-identity becomes fully more developed and you develop a more solid core. At one point in my life, I just realized that I needed to be who I was. I remember reading on one discussion board, someone saying, I think I was made gay for a reason so I could be more tolerant and more understanding. And that was exactly how I felt. It's not just that you're a gay person. You're, maybe you're an athlete, maybe you're an artist, maybe you're a scientist. That very, that, that original, originalness, that, that word doesn't even exist. The very things that, that uh, are giving you your originality right now are the things that we need in this world. It's difficult when it feels the world is closing in on you. You need to be able to be the one that pushes those doors open and, 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 and walks through them and strides forward because as you stride forward, people join you and stride forward with you. The curtain had to come down. I could not perform anymore. I was tired. Now, you know, I have a wonderful relationship with, uh, with my partner and I'm very happy. You do get to this point, you know, life's good and, and I've kind of figured some things out and I've had a good time along the way and I like who I am and I like where I'm at in life. My ability to love and to feel was so much bigger and larger than anything the bullies could experience. I've been raised in the black church and there's a song that says, trouble don't last always. What is the it that gets better? It is perspective. The it we're talking about here is, is your life. Uh, so cliche, but like it's important what's in here, not all these things that are out here. If you're not hopeful, what is the alternative? Kind of expect the worst, that's no fun. 
we need we need the it we need it the it your life to get better in order to make sure that you're here to tell other people your stories. Life is so much more than what those kids said about you when you were in your teens and they threw rocks or they said mean things that you um, you're more than that and that being different isn't a bad thing it's a great thing it's what makes you you. Very slowly after a long time I became nice to myself. I'm not sure it gets better but it gets honest it gets honest and it gets truthful and that's what's really great. There are other people out there that will love you and support you and will think that you are brilliant and awesome. I think the bottom line is love. I couldn't say to myself, Donald, you're great and you're gonna do great things. 15 years ago, I would not have been able to say that and I would have choked on my words. <laughs> Gay people deserve equality. They deserve their place in the world. and They deserve to be happy and live wonderful lives like everybody else. And I guess it was just that conviction that just, that pushed me forward. You feel part of a community, you feel part of people that accept you, um, and you feel that other people share your story. I am an example that if you can overcome those challenges, that life is actually pretty good. With each passing year, month, week, even day, um, as one gets older, one takes more control of one's life and begins to define the universe as they want it to be. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Everything gets better. It really, really, really gets better. Gets better. It gets way better. Much, much better. <laughs> it gets better. 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 It certainly does get better. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it gets better. I'm sure of this. Definitely it gets better. And it is getting better.